So we're here at Vacaville at the Kennels and we have the team up here for trainers training and today we're just going to be working with each individual trainer, uh, working on specific things that they want to address with their dog. Uh, pretty much everybody's just um, at different levels with different dogs so just basically doing some problem solving and uh, have some fun, work some dogs. So uh, Juan is going to be the first dog and we're going to be working on fixing the front position. Recall. Dollar here. Box. Box. Voila. Yes. Break and play. Focus. So this dog here we're going to be working on uh, doing some socialization. He seems to be a little bit territorial um, when he is uh, faced with new people walking in the building. So go ahead and just bring him in here. Uh, walk him in here and let everybody come say hi to everybody. Just like let him go up to everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So always kind of familiarize him with whoever. Hey buddy, just don't let him be rude. Just kind of, hey, hey, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Now, yeah, right now you should be saying, go say hi. Okay, just keep Go say hi, because there's plenty of people. Go say hi. Yeah, okay, next person. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're going to work on a young person canario puppy. Basically a puppy like this, I'm going to want to work on a lot of confidence building. Uh, working on the fact that the dog is, you know, a little slow to mature. So we just want the dog to see that everything's going on is really fun and positive and socialize the dog, make sure she's comfortable with people, noises, distractions, and working on a little bit of lure. I've been doing like some little lure and stuff with it here and there. With like the food and stuff. Uh... My biggest goal with her is just trying to not go in too too hard, too quick. Just kind of letting her just develop, be a little bit more free and not being so... Because I, I know I can cap her in obedience at any point, so I'm just trying to really get the, the drive and just get her kind of natural ability going a little bit better. What's going on, y'all? This is Josh from Cali K9. We're here at the, uh, at the uh, facility. Here we just got finished doing some vaccinations, so we brought the dogs back down. From the uh, from the property from the kennels. Uh, right now we're just uh, like I said did some vaccinations, some deworming. Uh, we have a litter here that's a little older than, the, uh, than this other younger litter. Excellent working dogs. Uh, we have excellent studs. These, these dogs are, you know, uh, they're just well-rounded working dogs. Um, been socialized. They've been, you know, working around all the different trainers and different environments. So uh, we try to send them off with uh, proper upbringing so you can be successful with them. But there's Cali K9 Kennels, and uh, yeah, so some of the crew right here. This is Kojak, a young, uh, about a year and a half old GSD, uh, just really tightening up on his leash obedience, getting everything secure. Um, this is actually Joss's mom's dog, so you know, we're definitely trying to take care of that, make sure he's got all the manners, and make sure he's performing nice and good. Come on, break it. Dog that got dropped off. Uh, we took him down to Vacaville. He's been down there for about three, three weeks, maybe two and a half, three weeks. Um, pretty much, we got him back. Now we're doing those final touches on him. So now we're going to do a lot of proofing and securing, making sure that he can hold positions through major distractions, dog distractions, loud noises, desensitizing him to all that good stuff. Uh, right now, he's a little nervous, so I'm taking him over to pieces of agility to build up that confidence a little bit, and also get a little bit of that handler confidence as well too. I want him to be able to trust me before we go into anything uh, that's going to be super, super. Uh, crucial for him, so that's gonna be you know dogs barking, dogs running around, things like that. Okay, this, so this is Thor. This is a uh, a giant puppy. He's about a year old or a little over a year, uh, and right now we're incorporating the e-collar conditioning with him. So we're teaching him how what the e-collar does, how it works, and what he's supposed to do in response to the e-collar. So uh, this way, when like he goes back to his his owners, they'll have an easier time handling him because you know he's a big dog already at a, a you know a, a little over a year. So imagine like in three years, he's gonna be even bigger and even stronger. You, we use dog parks to proof our, you know, our distraction training, you know, and it is good. Like good play is good. It's healthy, you know. But I mean, sometimes you know people bring their dog park, dogs in dog parks because they can't walk them down the street, and they bring them to go just go terrorize everybody else's dog, you know. So our problem right now yeah, is that she she doesn't understand what good play is. Yeah, um, we over have a time. thirty-five pound mutt dog, right? And that dog is so tolerant. She, I mean, she lets Artie just feed the absolute shit out of her. And oh, right. <laughs> yeah, well, it's cute when they're, when they're young and they're, you know, they don't care, but right now, um, you know, for, for example, a lot of pit bulls, right? Now, I've, I've owned pit bulls, I was 10 years old. 
pit bulls, they say, oh, well, you know, this dog is so great. He's one years old. He's super social. And I said, well, he's not two years old where he kicks in the real pit bull mode where, you know, he said, okay, now I'm a teenager. Now let's go see if we're the toughest kid on the block, you know? So, right. you know, it, it's really about how you socialize and, and, and you got to check this stuff. You have to make sure, like, if the play seems like it's getting too rough, you have to address it right away because, again, if they learn that they can just go overboard with everything, then they'll, they'll, have, no, they'll have no limiter. You know, and you have to make sure that you establish some kind of limiter because, you know, again, the behavior can get, you know, they'll tune you out and just go for what they want. And uh, that's what the whole control and obedience and the system is all about, is really making sure that you not only have the dog super engaged and motivated, but you also have the dog, um, you know, disciplined as well. So we're here at the Cali K9 Kennels here, right here. We're on the, uh, the, the training field that we're going to be putting down some fresh sod, uh, basically, uh, we got everything all irrigated. We have uh, our lights up, our speakers are, the lights aren't all the way up, but uh, the speakers are up, the lights are almost up. Uh, we've just taken this building and put a whole new foundation on it. We put a whole new beam so it's super strong and sturdy, uh, which is gonna add to the kennels that we already currently have in this building. Um, and then we have our whelping area down there as well as our indoor training facilities. So this place is really taking shape. Uh, next thing we gotta do is we have to you know, burn all of this stuff, uh, you know, all of this debris and stuff. The good thing about living in the country is you can burn. So, uh, yeah, the kennels are coming together, man. I'm really excited about it. The team's gonna be out here all summer and all, all spring just getting it in. This is where the boarding trains are gonna come and get that work. So y'all look out for the updates. One love. Hey, my name's Camille. I'm a trainer here at Cali Canine. I'm here with Jasper. He's about 10 months old. He's been with us for a few weeks now. Um, he was super nervous when he first got in, um, nervous when any new people would come up to his kennel. Um, he's here to work on basic obedience, getting more comfortable around new people, and food guarding. So we've been working on all those. Jasper has made a lot of great improvements since he's been here. He's a lot more comfortable with us, getting comfortable in new environments, out and about with new people. Um, he's doing really well. We've been practicing his obedience recall. Hi, my name is Aaliyah, and I'm a trainer here at Cali Canine at our Vacaville location. And this is Anon. -An. Anon -An is an eight-month-old Labrador. He's a young guy. Uh, he's been with us for about three weeks now, and he's just here for some basic obedience, some leash manners. Um, he's used to getting his way at home, so he's here also for some demand barking. He kind of has a tendency to get a little loud when he doesn't get his way, so working on that. Um, he's doing really good.